It's about having account. Paul said, not that I desire it, but that your account may be full. Not that he, she desire a gift, but that your account may be full. Now there is a spiritual account that, 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 that you receive in a physical account. Without a deposit, there's no a withdrawal. Where there is no deposit, there's no a withdrawal. So when the prophetess says that sow a seed or your first fruit, it is for your benefit. The promise for the children and for yourself. Now, for you to tap into the promises, you got to do something. I said earlier, for you to encounter the miraculous, you got to do the ridiculous. Now, don't be afraid. 2018 is the year of abundance, and I pray that God will put you in the season of abundance. God will put you in the winning side. Now, I pray for you also that any advantage of the enemy against your life will be an, will be a disadvantage this year, 2018. God will push Amen. you. God will bring you to a, a, a level where nobody can bring you down. I pray for you. Now hear this. She was talking about the cross in Jesus. That message was powerful. And, 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 and Jesus has paid our bills. Jesus has paid Amen. our bills. It's like bringing a person to the restaurant and say, hey, God, eat. All your bill is in my account. Now, somebody, your bill is on Jesus. He paid Amen. everything. In the book of first. In the book of Colossians 1, 2, 14, sorry, he says, and he took away any handwriting that was against us or that was contrary and lay, nailed it on his cross. Now your yes. sin is on Jesus' cross. Your poverty is on Jesus' cross. The sickness and disease is on Jesus' cross. Now 2018, no weapon against which I prosper. Hallelujah. You will get to where God has purpose for you in 2018. Now you have gone through a series of attacks in the year past, but 2018, the year of abundance, God will bring you to abundance. Now the book of Isaiah chapter 61 says, this is the acceptable year of the Lord. Now we are in the acceptable year of the Lord. God bless you even as you are watching us tonight. It's, 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 it's a blessing to be in 2018. Whatever That's God right. has for you, you're going to possess and have it. The book of Nahum, it says, and upon Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, yes. and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Now, everybody following the ministry of Bitera Jacobs, I, I, I am ensuring that you possess your possession. It says, the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Now, as you are connected to this yes. ministry, you are in the house of Jacobs, and you shall possess your possession. Jesus Christ has taken away the soul. He has taken away the pain. He has taken away the rejection. He has taken away anything that, that, that will not help you. He has taken it away. The book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Okay, hold on. Before the 1 Corinthians, let's, let's, let, I won't talk for long because she has said everything. She has said everything. I will, <laughs> I will, I will just speak briefly and then... And then <laughs> And then and then and, and then sign up. But tomorrow, Tuesday, the morning prayers. You guys got to join the morning prayer. Because anytime you pray, you access the supernatural help of God into your life. From tomorrow, Tuesday to Friday, join in the morning prayer. It's gonna be it's gonna be more powerful because the month is coming to an end. So don't forget the 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 the, 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 the end is bigger than the beginning. So the month is coming to an end. Tomorrow is going to be 16. And I want you to join tomorrow's prayer, morning session, and also involve yourself in the prayer and fasting. Because fasting and prayer break chains. God bless you, even as you can hear the sound of our voices. Now, the book of um, 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, 19, the New Living Translation said, For God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the word back to himself, and therefore he is not counting your sins against you anymore. Now, Amen. the good news is that when you come to Christ, your sins are no more counted against you anymore. It means God is calling whoever you are. Wherever you are, God is calling you. Now, Bible said in John chapter number one, he said, but as many as received and believed on his name, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. Now, God wants to give you access to become his child. But you got to 
receive and believe in Jesus Christ. There is no any name that can give you salvation than that of the name Jesus. The name of Jesus is powerful. It has been given to us on earth. Now let me let me let me say this quickly. Let me say this quickly. Let me say this quickly. It's, it's, it's a deep revelation. Jesus, the name of Jesus, is so powerful. But here it is. The Bible said in the book of Philippians chapter 2, it said that God has given him a name above any other name, that at the name of Jesus, every name shall bow. Now, somebody will say, it is the same name Jesus, but what name above Jesus that is so powerful? Because God said, at the name of Jesus. When Jesus was alive, he was Jesus. When he's dead, he's still Jesus. But there is something behind the name Jesus. The authority he caught after he was raised from the dead. That makes the name of Jesus powerful. The name of Jesus is powerful in the now. Me. Whatever you are facing, as you call upon the name of Jesus, you shall be delivered. The Bible said, as many mm -hmm. as receive them, believe in the only part to become the sons of God. Now, quickly, the days are going by. Add yourself to the prayer and fasting that we are doing. Because prayer and fasting, it, it, it's not that we don't have food to eat or you don't have, you don't have food, to, but it's building yourself. Building yourself. As you build yourself, God will build you. 2018, the year of abundance. The prophet has declared. The Bible said, and God will do nothing. The Lord God will do nothing unless he reveals a secret to seven the prophets. Now God has revealed some secret to the prophets. The year of the abundance. Abundance. Abundance in prosperity, abundance in finances, abundance in marriages, abundance in good health, abundance in anything that will pertain to your peace. God bless you. God bless you. The name of Jesus is as powerful in the now. Now, I want to pray for somebody. I want to pray for somebody who needs restoration. Somebody who needs restoration. I don't know where you need restoration from, but I want to pray for you, spe specifically somebody who needs restoration. There is no barrier or distance in prayer. There is no barrier and distance in prayer. Now hear this. Prophecy is divinity written out to humanity. And prayer is humanity written out to yes. divinity. Now I want to pray and prophesy for somebody. For restoration. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we release restoration to somebody right now. David said, the Lord restored my soul. Joel said, and I will restore unto you the years that the caterpillar, the cankerworm, the locust has eaten. Lord, I pray prophetically. I join my faith with the faith of prophetess. And I command restoration to everybody for watching whom the enemy has stolen any form of joy in their lives whether financial joy marital joy health joy i command restoration right now in the name of jesus lord restore your people and let them give you glory and all the praise in jesus mighty name in jesus. amen Hallelujah. now tomorrow join us tomorrow join us tomorrow and a life will never be the same again. But when we talk about Jesus, now I, I want to use this 5 to 5.30. Is that right? 5 to 5.30 a.m. Okay, good. Now, before I go off online, I want to invite Jesus into your life, wherever you are. I want to invite Jesus into your life. The Bible said, with their hearts, man delivered unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Jesus is calling you wherever you are, whoever you are, any lifestyle you are in. God is calling you. He is able to cleanse you and make you righteous. Whatever, wherever you have gotten to in life. Jesus said, come unto me, O ye that labor, and are heavy laden, come and I will give you rest. God is calling you into a rest. Pray this prayer after me and with me, and God will be gracious to you. Say this simple prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, 
I have heard your word. Come into my life. Forgive me all my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I know you came to die for me. Help me, Lord, to please you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. As you have said this prayer, God has become your God. And Jesus has come into your life. He will give you a new life and make you a new person. And you shall fulfill your destiny. God bless you all. Encounter the supernatural in the year of abundance. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Baba. God bless you. Let me see everyone. If you pray that prayer of salvation, uh, inbox me. Please inbox me. So I can connect it to you and, and give you scriptures and find you a church home so that way you can grow in the word. And my church, Lafayette, Louisiana, coming soon. You can come and join my church. Um,